Andy, my man, welcome back. Sorry we overloaded your old computer with too much Tumblr stuff. Let's hope this doesn't happen to the second one, am I right? Matching Tumblr icons are just friendship bracelets for geeks. You remember those? Uh, friendship bracelets still a thing? I need to know. The grind never starts. I'm sleeping. Wow. I want that energy. I just saw a only one bed fic with the major character death warning? Well, I guess that's one way to solve that problem. This bed ain't big enough for the both of us. Aesthetic. Dragon Ball characters photoshopped into slice of life animes. That's... That's beautiful. Andy, do it for Cosmic Wonders. It has not been ten hours since I revamped, and already I am fueled with unstoppable power. I'm going to fight every one of you, and I am going to lose. But then I'll win when you least expect it. The Lord giveth, and the Lord take it back now, y'all. <laughs> Two hops this time. <laughs> Life's too short not to eat devastating, irrational amounts of cheese. Well, we found the white person on Tumblr. I have mastered the art of stressing out and not caring whatsoever simultaneously. I call it ADHD. <laughs> I went on a hero's journey within the span of one hour this afternoon. If you even care. Well, he's a fine young man. If you overlook the atrocities, you know, d -d don't worry about it. I once saw someone pay for something with a ring connected to Apple Pay, and I was just tipsy enough, I thought they punched the card machine and it worked. What if it did? We'll never know. Ah, uh, please don't fret so much, Master Dialga. Even your siblings, Palkia and Gerbasia, are no threat to your continued survival. Giratina! Edit post! Edit post! Edit post! At the grocery store. Me, can you give me x squared plus 4y of tomatoes and 2 times x squared plus axy to the power of 3 potatoes, please? I, I, I don't understand. Well, I don't give a fuck. I didn't study in vain. Those are polynomials. You asked for a never-ending curve of tomatoes. Got a big pot of sauce to make. Being on a costumed superhero team is like, you are my dearest friends. We fought side by side a hundred times. We know each other's most intimate strengths and weaknesses. I know you more completely than anyone else in my life. We can communicate with a word, a glance, a gesture. I don't know your name. I've never seen the upper half of your face. And I love you. This is what working retail during the pandemic is like. Different half of the face. Yeah, that's... That's the only difference. Today I learned that the saxophone was invented only in 1846 by Adolf Sax. As a child, he survived a three-story fall, a gunpowder explosion, drinking a bowl of sulfuric water, a near poisoning due to furniture varnish, and falling into a speeding river. His neighbors called him Little Sax the Ghost. God really didn't want the saxophone invented. And yet here we have it. In fact, Andy, put up your favorite saxophone noise. My new, totally uneducated guess for why human tell stories is to keep them from getting bored and cranky while following a gazelle for four hours. No deeper mystery or meaning. Some folk need a distraction while they tried to catch dinner, so they just made some shit up. The end. The equivalent of listening and singing the songs on your way home so you don't fall asleep at the wheel. Ah, for millennia upon millennia, humans have had to yell creatively to keep on task. Yeah, that sounds about right. Teacher, why are you laughing? No reason. My brain. Local police. Bust a nut. <laughs> well, the good news, we finally have solid confirmation on how gif is pronounced. The bad news, the old English word gif is pronounced yif. No. Yes. Yes! This is the language equivalent of King Solomon suggesting cutting the baby in half. Jess discovered the joy of pronouncing all words ending with cles like Heracles. Obstacles, tentacles, mortal cycles, testicles, micropoticles, popsicles, debacles. Ah, I love words and sounds. You don't mind me, I'm just looking for inspiration for my swords and sandals campaign. Testicles. Son of Bophides, the demigod who was invincible in all but his genitals. Thus was the tragedy 
of Bofidi's nuts. <laughs> ah! Andy, put up the biggest god of your god. Ha! Got him! Ha!